Thank God with the politician, they spoil everything. Even the judiciary, when you know the guilty person, this man is guilty. This social person is guilty. For being a politician, it, man, there is no verdict that will tell you, that will say, ah, okay, and they should jail this uh, social person. We have many of them like that. That when, when they accuse them of looting or they accuse them of some, uh, some other things, you see that they are both the law in Nigeria. Politicians are both the law in Nigeria. Yes, so, yeah, they have um, this humility, something like that. Uh, uh, anyway, the humility of the team, that is where, excuse me, that is where we get it wrong. We get it wrong from that humility of it. In. Nigerian constitution needs to be amended. If, if not, for, not to be amended, we need to sit and rewrite the constitution, 1999 constitution. The 1999 constitution gave all these politicians the privilege of doing all this. Somebody, you and I know that this man looted the uh, so 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 uh, money, so so state money. It could be government, it could be it could be minister, and we all know that he looted some money. But the uh, the the constitution says the immunity covers it over what? What is immunity in the constitution? Can you do that in the Western world where you are in office and they accuse you of looting? That doesn't stop you from this, um, from going to court. Sure, sure, sure. But I've never seen where Nigerian politician being tried in the federal court of law. It's not done. It is not done. That is. So we are not, uh, the constitution only favors the politicians. Why? Go against the poor. Against the masses. You go against the poor. Don't let me use the masses because the masses are poor. We are poor. We were the poor in Nigeria. So the constitution favors the politician while he go against the poor. So for well, us to be better, we, we need to like amend the 1999 constitution. We should reshape it. We need to reshape 1999 constitution that gives room for this looting of a thing in Nigeria. That is what brings about the currency. We are, what we are facing in, in, the, in, the, in the currency market where the Naira is no longer to be found. So, the Naira devaluation now, we will do it. How do we go about this thing? Whatever we trade, whatever we do, whatever transaction Nigeria do presently now, that we trade with dollars should be suspended. Either we, 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 it's any either foreign currency should be suspended for now. Oh, well, you know this cannot be done. Was like it's going to affect the administration of your other. It's, it's like it's going to be affecting the administration of your other. Or you just suspend the foreign currency. Of yours. Bros, let, 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 thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, I will take you back to uh, a country called Ghana. We all know Ghana very well. Yeah, yeah, no, so, uh, in 19, if I'm not mistaken, in 1983, when uh, uh, Nigerian, uh, Nigerian government asked the Ghanaians to leave Ghana, most Nigerians did not know what really happened then, why the federal government asked the Ghanaians to leave. Nigeria. Not that the Ghanaians are competing with Nigerians here. We know what they came here then to do. We, we have them, the, um, most of them, shoemakers, uh, DK, DK of 18. Like exactly. That is what they came here for then. But why did, why did Nigerian government ask them to leave? Most Nigerians did not even know why they say Ghana must go. Ghana must go. It was, most we don't say Ghana must go. Uh, Ghana must go. They thought it was just May back. Ghana must go then when the federal government employed, said the, well, told the Ghanaians to leave Nigeria was because unless equipment was robbed, the vice president of Nigeria then was robbed. Mm. So among, among those robbers, they found two Ghanaians there. Two Ghanaians were found among the Nigerians there. So this really got the federal government at night. Let's also ask, okay, Nigerians, what, what about the Ghanaians again? What is the Ghanaians doing among the Nigerians, robbing our own? Then, Adler Sekouni was the vice president of Nigeria. 
See they get doing the shagaria. It was the vice. So imagine somebody like okay, uh, somebody presently now somebody go to Shetima's and rob Shetima, and we mm. discover it was a Ghana. How how would you feel? Mm, it's going to be real. because it was embarrassing. It looks so embarrassing to us that. How can your friend just come to our country? Hey, to my country to my rob country. my own. Uh, yeah, it's so <clears throat> things like this. So when Ghana, Ghana. When you were gonna spend it to the city, so when the economy of Ghana crashed, thank for uh, thank God for JJ Rollins, mm. thank God for JJ Rollins when he came. So when the economy of Ghana got crashed, JJ Rollins now you know what he did? What he did? He suspended pound sterling uh, dollars. Whatever can whatever the government of Ghana are doing, are trading with them. If it is with dollar or with any other currency, it's sus it's suspended everything. Everything is done in cities. So everything has to go back to cities. 